In this video, I'm gonna share why you need momentum as business owner, as an entrepreneur, even, even if you're not, but really if you are, you definitely need momentum, and how to get it back fast if you lose it. Now, the reason why I thought about making this video is because the last couple of days I've been with a friend of mine who's a well-known business owner, um, entrepreneur, he's, he's been doing it for years and years and years, he's very, put on very popular events in the past, and um, he told me, he said, Mark, I've lost my momentum. He said, I've lost it for about 18 months. I've lost my momentum. So he was asking me for advice, asking me to help him out to get him back then. He was my friend, so of course I did it. But at the same time, I realized, man, like he's asking me for momentum. I'm just pulling myself out from losing momentum just a few weeks ago when I moved out of my home. I had a lot of things going on, a lot of things in my personal life that really threw me off in business life. Now, momentum's important, because what do we mean by it? We mean you being in flow, you being at your best, I mean you being confident, you being making great decisions, being on a roll, just moving forward in the direction that's important for you and doing really well with it, okay? Just, just being in flow, just like, yeah, creating new offers, um, making sales, making fantastic decisions and um, enjoying it even, you know, just being in momentum, things are working out. And you know you've lost it when all of a sudden you're self-doubting yourself. You're double, double thinking things. You're asking questions, is this right? You're asking people for advice, which is a great thing, but no matter what people give you for advice, you're still not sure. You're tripping over your own two feet, if you like, tripping over yourself. That's when you know you've lost momentum. And you just know it, you just feel it. You're not feeling yourself, you're not feeling on top of the game. So how do you get it back fast? Well, if we break it down, Momentum, as I said, it can be defined as confidence, decision-making ability. There's mainly those two things, confidence, decision-making ability, and, and I would say speed of execution, executing fast on things. That's momentum. So how do you get those things back? Well, here are three ways to get your momentum back fast. Now, the first way is simply think about, okay, when you've got momentum, how do you move? How do you think? How do you talk? How do you walk? Now, the reason is because when you're in momentum, you're in a certain state. When you're making good decisions, when you're executing fast and you're feeling confident, that's because you're in a certain state. We can call it the momentum state, all right? You're in a momentum state. And whenever you're in a certain state, a state just means um, like an emotional pattern. It means you're in a certain emotional pattern. And when you're in momentum, it's working for you. You can change your emotions by how you move your body. So when you're in momentum, you're probably standing up straight, you're probably tall, you're probably thinking fast, you might be moving fast. You'll have certain patterns with your physiology, patterns with your movement that you do when you're in momentum. You'll also have patterns of thinking when you're in momentum, patterns of self-talk. You'll be telling yourself certain things. Maybe it's like, yeah, I've got this or like, yeah, everything's working out right now. Everything's working out or I'm doing great. I don't know, it's different for everybody, but for you, when you're in momentum, when things are working, you'll have a certain pattern of the way you think and you'll have a pattern of the way you move. So the first thing to getting back into momentum is closing your eyes and thinking back, like, how do I move when I'm in momentum? What do I think? What do I tell myself in my head? and then start modeling that behavior. So just start doing it. Whether you feel it or not, just start doing it. Fake it until you make it. Because if you start walking the way you walk, talking the way you talk, moving the way you do when you're in momentum, then soon enough, you're gonna start feeling that momentum coming back. It, it, that alone could be the game changer. Now the second thing, the second thing is start doing the behaviors, the activities that you do when you're in momentum. Like what type of things get you in momentum? I have found, and coaches have taught me this as well, and I, I have found for myself, oh, got a big, it's not even a big, it's one of those little dogs that thinks it's a big dog <laughs> up there. Um, I have found for myself that actually getting in a flow state, so that's a psychological term, a flow state. The um, common term is like getting in the zone, if you like. I have found that by getting in the zone, through activities such as sports. For me, it's soccer, it's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it's yoga. By getting in the zone, it actually allows me to build momentum and get in the zone, get into flow in business too at work. I just feel faster, I just feel more on it, better decisions. So that's what I found 
doing behaviors that get you in flow. So for you, it might be different. Maybe when you've got momentum at work, maybe you're doing other things outside of work. What activities are you doing? Think back to like, all right, when I'm in flow, when I've got momentum, what am I doing? What activities do I do? As I said, for me, it's usually sports. I'm doing a lot of sports stuff. For me, it's lifting as well. When I'm lifting, I'm running, I'm doing a lot of physical activity. It's easy for me to get back. It's easy for me to, that momentum carries on into my work, to my business. So what are the things for you? And start doing them right away. Maybe it's reading. I don't know. Start doing them. Now, this is the third key to getting your momentum back. And this is... This is like one of the most vital, and this is what I actually recommended to my friend right away, was create a morning foundation. Okay, not, people call it morning routine, I call it a morning foundation, because from that foundation, you can build momentum. So create a morning foundation. For me, it's meditation. I like to meditate right now, I'm doing like two hours in the morning, getting up for 5.30. I'm not just suggesting you do that. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, that's a great start meditation and then for me it's my morning mindset program i just go out for a walk um, and listen to my mindset training program and i'll put a link just below so you can get that too if you want that just gets me set up today builds my confidence gets me in the zone builds my momentum right away so the third thing for you is design your own morning foundation something that you can start the day every day that gets you in the right headspace, that gets your body right, everything ready, so you can build from there and take momentum into your business. That's three ways you can build momentum, get it back fast, so you can get back in the game and win right away, okay? Thanks very much. Drop your comments with other ways that you, that you do to get your momentum back. And even better, how do you stop losing your momentum in the first place? That's Dharma Daily. I'll see you guys tomorrow.